some glad sir. India was uh, one point of time, it was an elite space club, we are away from elite space club. And now, our Atma Nirbhar Bharat, under the exemplary leadership of uh, Honorable PM Sri Narendra Modi ji, we could become a part of the elite space club, alongside being indigenous and also making significant advancements in space research as well as development. The journey has taken us where no other could reach out and put us above all in the world with the success of Chandrayaan 3. Of course, 2019 has been heartbreaking for the whole nation. But you resurfaced, and with the resilience, however, our scientists of Bharat have elated us with the astounding success of Chandrayaan 3 in August 2023. To mark this phenomenal victory, the government of India has announced 23rd August as a National Space Day. I feel very much honored to be serving as the Minister of Science and Technology. Andhra Pradesh, as we celebrate our first National Space Day in front of our esteemed scientists of ISRO, Satish Dhawan Space Center, formerly known as the Sri Harikota Range. The seeds of ISRO were planted by two great scientists, Homi Baba and Vikram Sarabhai, and their legacy has been taken forward by Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam and Satish Dhawan. When we launched Aryabhata, India's first satellite in the year 1975, we did it from uh, Russia, a Russian rocket uh, uh, launch and development site, the Kasputin Yar, I think it was the name. If you look at our progression now, we have launched about 430 international satellites from India, and our Satish Dhawan Space Center has been a rocket launch site for many American and Russian satellites and also European countries. I would like to elucidate the progress of ISROs in three E's. As I describe it as an uh, efficient, expedient, and economical. All this has been possible because of the exemplary efforts of our great team of patriotic scientists working relentlessly with an extreme level of commitment and uh, determination. On this important occasion, it gives me immense pride to remember one of the most successful rocket launches from Sri Harikota on a single mission where 104 satellites were launched in a, on a single day, overtaking the previous record of 37 satellites launched by Russia in 2014, thereby creating history and being applauded by the whole world. That's why we could get into the international recognition. And our low-cost missions are the key for ISRO. Our scientists have showcased to the world where new great dimension by proving that the space missions could also be cost effective. It is indeed a fact that the, that the Hollywood movie Gravity had been a bigger budget than Indian Mars mission. And the other than Gravity, Hollywood cinema theater and can take out an Indian Mars mission all cheap. And the one that effective is cheap. Like cinema work is cheap, but it could budget a bit. But Dani can take a budget for the Manam Kujabeti, Indian Mars mission successful. So, ISRO's low cost space missions have always amazed the world and have been case studies to explore and experiment. Another top notch advancement of ISRO came into light with the collaboration of ISRO and NASA signing a partnership to launch uh, NIA and NISA targeted for 2024. Growth rate of ISRO in uh, Honorable PM Modi's government is something like this. In the year 2014, there was an extremely disturbing and satirical cartoon published in, as I said earlier. In 2014, there was an extremely disturbing and uh, satirical uh, cartoon published in the New York Times, for which they later went on to apologize. But nevertheless, it did hurt us. The point that I try to make here is that our current ongoing partnership with NASA, United States in uh, multiple space projects, is a clear indication of changed optics from the world's perspective. Our scientists, our distinguished scientists and our great scientists are the major contributors of the world's space research. I would like to reiterate the success curve of Indian space research has always been stable, irrespective of changing governments. Any Prabhutwal Marina, Nehru Garde Girinchi, Prabhamana Modi Garvarku, uncompromising is about Indian space uh, research. Double is too nevacham. In the last decade, primarily, as we all know, it is indeed because of personal intervention and emotional support of Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji. 
Team ISRO has been able to seamlessly transition one success to another and also be tough and intact even during the most difficult times of failure. Failures achievement of failures to walk, to pursue, to go ahead. It takes a lot of uh, hardships. Alanti, low level, low spirited, the way he came and patted the chief, the Isro director, and Patukan Vidhan and Jusi, Kadilipen, even had tweeted on that. And a failure loan of one of Manshiki, Vilulto, Kudi, Nelabadi, failure to one of Manshiki, a Chichial and Kuna, Manavaliki, the Chial, a Chimin Chial and Kuna Manshiki, Waka experiment of failure Puina Pudu. What they seek is not to hit them. Just go there, put your arm around them, put your around their shoulder, tell them it's all right. Allah Quatta Bate as Prada as a prime honorable prime minister could say that Chandra in three and the Balanga Potagali. Just we need the little time. <laughs> so since the tenure of Modi Ji became as a PM, ISRO has achieved a number of significant milestones, including uh, it has launched more satellites than under any previous government. In 2022-23 alone, ISRO launched the 52 satellites, which is a record in itself. ISRO has also undertaken more complex missions in recent years, such as uh, uh, Chandrayaan-2 lunar mission, the Mars orbiter mission, the Gaganyaan human spaceflight mission. Gaganyaan is, is a dream for all of us. Bharati Union Antarakshanal Pampichto. Adikoda mana shar dekir nici. Andhra Pradesh prabuttun dini ki chala trikaran suddhi ka ma vantu krishi me nici. And this is a good day. 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 A sharp budget, almost close to 2,000 crores worth of money. But we don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. We don't have to go to the road days. Rundi bela kotla do pa elu, kani rawatan ki engines tis kerawatan ki pel heavy payload do mana ke heavy weight unna ya equipment tis kerawatan road lu padai bate. Na kani pichin de ni no collector ya dikote mati chan miru. At least wujud lu kani sumir ya dar modal bete lu ni collector ya duduk ya orang orang apa pa elu. Pada mana store lu 4 kilometer purti jasa, mungkin ta 5 kilometer lu terlalu ni purti jasa. So isro also I mean, uh, being a partner of uh, ND Alliance, uh, it gives me immense pleasure, gratitude, and pride to be a part of the National Space Day with you all here today. So, Satish Dhawan Space uh, Center has been the primary spaceport of ISRO for years now. Sri Harikota is said to be the second best spaceport in the world after Kennedy Space Center in the US. From the time of its establishment in 1971, Sri Harikota has been pivotal for many successful launches and gave birth to numerous missions which have not only become tangible reality but also has the potential to transform into a billion opportunities in future. As for my understanding, it's not just that geographical location that makes this convenient but has always been a very strategic choice too. I'm very much pleased to know that there has been a total of 94 launches from Satish Dhawan Space Center out of which 8 are successful, 5 partially successful and only 10 setbacks. This explains the success rate of this very place and its contribution to space missions.